Hello guys, welcome to this video where I talk about the, the factors which cause uh, mass wasting. Let's start with the first one, that is the gradient or slope. So when the gravitational force acting on a slope exceeds its resisting force, uh, slope failure, also known as mass wasting occurs. So mass wasting is very common and is severe in areas with, with the steep lands as compared to areas with flat or moderately flat lands. The second factor is the weathering. Uh, various processes of weathering weakens or loosens the rocks, hence as accelerating the process of mass wasting. For example, uh, oxidation of uh, metallic elements and the uh, hydration of, uh, metal, of uh, minerals in the rocks create lines of fracture and they consequently the onset of uh, mass wasting. The third one is that the amount of water present in the rocks uh, water can increase or decrease the stability of uh, a slope depending on the amount present. For example, if the small amount of water, uh, this strengthens the soils because uh, the surface tension of water increases the soil cohesion. Cohesion this is the attraction of uh, similar particles. Uh, so this allows the soil to resist the erosion better than if it were totally dry. But if too much water is present, in, uh, it acts as a lubricant agent, using friction and accelerating the erosion process, resulting in the different types of mass wasting, uh, such as the mud flows, landslides, and so on. Moving on, the fourth one is vegetation. Uh, the roots of plants uh, help bind the soil particles together, making the soil resistant to agents of erosion and weathering. A compact soil cannot be eroded easily by running water, animals, wind, or other agents of erosion. This makes the soil hard to break and hence resistant eroding. Now, mass wasting processes such as soil creep cannot occur easily in soils well covered with vegetation. Also, the mass of vegetation cover blocks the blocks and it prevents the movement of the eroded materials. And also, plants remove water from the ground where the absorption, whereby it balances the amount of water that can be present in the soil. The fifth one is that the nature or the type of rock materials. Uh, for example, clay soil is compact and resistant to various types of soil erosion agents and mass wasting as compared to sandy soil, uh, which is normal loose and easy to remove and transport by water, gravity, wind, etc. So mass wasting may be more severe on the sandy soil than its counterpart clay soil under similar prevailing conditions. The sixth one is the, the activities of man, such as cultivation, burning, mining, transportation, animal grazing, etc. Uh, the, this all removes the soil cover, all leads to the shaking of the soil. Now, these activities lead to the loosening of the soil particles and hence making it easier to move and kill away. Let's see the effects of mass wasting to the environment. Uh, mass wasting has a significant effects to the environment. Uh, the following are some of the effects of mass wasting to the environment. The first one is the soil erosion. Uh, when mass movement takes place, a uh, load often removes almost all vegetation on, on its way. This way it exposes the land to agents of erosion, such as wind, animals, water, ice, waves, etc. The second one that leads to the formation of new landforms. When a large mass of soil moves, such as it occurs in a landslide, the process leaves behind a large portion of eroded bare and the unproductive land. Uh, while the materials removed and transported to a distant location may form hills at their destination. The third one is the formation of lakes. Uh, materials of full landslide can block a riverbed and the valley, preventing downward movement of water. Thus, the blocked water accumulates on the upper side of the river, where it forms some kind of a lake. The fourth one is the diversion of a river course. Since the landslide material can block the natural river bed, forcing the river to divert and deform a new route. This makes the river leave its usual flowing course and deform a new course. 
Now the direction of flow of the river it has changed because of uh, the mass wasting activities. The fifth one is the formation of fertile soil. If uh, the removed materials comes from a fertile land, it can form a fertile soil at the base of destination where the fertile soil never existed and encouraged agricultural activities to take place. The last one leads to the damage property as a negative effect of mass wasting to the environment as the different categories of land sites may cause various damages to the property and it can adversely affect other resources. The effects of land sites are dangerous because they destroy everything in their path, especially the rapid movements. So that's all for this video. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening.